Good morning everybody and welcome to Friday. It's lovely to see you all. Um, thank you for joining us for another Heroes of the Week assembly this week. I know everybody's working, been working incredibly hard. I've been so proud of you all this week, but let's see who's been working really specially hard. First up, we're going to go to our reception class to see who our Heroes of the Week are. Mr. Blanthorne, can you tell us who Spider Crab's Hero of the Week is this week? Hello everyone. This week in reception, we have started our first lot of rainbow challenges. And so for Heroes of the Week, I would like to select a child who's really put great effort in, very, been very motivated, has tried his best, and has actually completed all six challenges before the other children in my class. So I'm gonna go with Luca as our Hero of the Week. Keep up that great effort and keep working hard. Oh, well done, Luca. It's wonderful to hear you've been work for completing all of your rainbow challenges. Mr. Blantham was incredibly proud to tell me all about how you've been working so hard. Fantastic job. Keep it up. Right, next up, Miss Neve. Miss Neve, who are Lobster Classes Hero this week? Hi, everybody. So, my hero this week is going to somebody who has tried to work independently this week as we have started our rainbow challenges. They have also tried really hard to remember all of our actions in our story map in our English this week as well. So I am super proud of Lily S this week. Well done Lily, keep up the good work. Fantastic news Lily, well done, you've been working incredibly hard too. I loved watching you all acting out your story the other day. Hopefully we'll be able to share that with everybody soon. You've been working hard too, fantastic. Right, next up is year one. Miss Powell, who is Turtle Class's hero this week? Good morning, Primary. I'm Miss Powell and I'm here to do Turtle's Hero of the Week. My Hero of the Week this week is someone that's tried really hard with their reading and their writing in everything we've done. And that person is Ted. Well done to Ted. Fantastic effort and coming in every single day. I can't wait to see you later and to show off more of your fantastic work. Bye. Oh, well done, Ted. That's such a great effort. You've been working incredibly hard. Brilliant job, Miss Pals. Uh, very proud of you, as I'm sure your class is. OK, Miss Chant and Narwhal class, who is your hero this week? Hello, everyone. My hero this week is someone who has been really helpful in the classroom. They've not only been doing jobs when they've been asked to, but they've been offering to do lots of jobs. They've been helping tidy up and they've been helping look after our play equipment. And that person is Oliver. Well done, Oliver. You're my hero this week. Bye bye. Oh, Oliver, what a fantastic job you've been doing. It's wonderful to hear you've been helpful with all your jobs. I'm sure we could all do with somebody like you in our class. Fantastic, a very well-deserved hero this week. Okay, Mrs Winter, who is Rainbow Starfish's hero this week? Morning, Rainbow Starfish. Oh, we've had such a lovely week. This week, everyone's been working really hard on their writing and maths. However, I've had one student who has been amazing, has been so good at listening, so good at doing all their work and that is Jacob. Well done buddy, you are hero of the week. Well done. Wonderful news Jacob, you've been working incredibly hard too. Mrs Winter's been really proud of you, it's been lovely to hear her talking so excitedly about the work you've been doing. Well done. Right, next up is Miss Richardson. R Mrs Richardson, who is Hippocampus's class's hero this week? Good morning, everybody. So our hero for Hippocampus this week goes to somebody who's cheered me up every morning with a beaming smile and has um, been extremely helpful, particularly helpful in math the other morning. And that person is Connor. So thank you, Connor. Oh, well done, Connor. It's wonderful to hear. We've got another member of the Atlantic family who's been working incredibly hard, a great asset, asset to a Hippocampus class. Well done. Right, Mr Dolby, how are those jellyfish doing? Who is your hero this week? Morning, Miss Heppel. Good morning, everybody. I have chosen this morning to have a special jellyfish who has shown a particularly inquiring mind and has used their homework to show how much more they can give to a topic. Paige, I absolutely loved your homework and your video you sent me. So you are my hero this week. 
an inquiring mind. What an amazing thing to say. Paige, I love seeing the pictures of your homework. You've been working incredibly hard. A very well-deserved hero of the week this week. Well done. Right, Miss Jackson with the Hammerhead Sharks. Oh, phew, I got it right this week. Miss Jackson, who is your hero this week? Morning, everyone. So my hero for Hammerhead Shark class this week goes to someone who's tried really hard in everything. She's tried really hard at settling in. She's getting really involved in the class. She's an absolute asset to Hammerhead Shark class. And we're really excited to have her back in class doing some more extra things with us. So well done, Sean. Congratulations. Have a good day, guys. Oh, Sean, you are such a great asset to the Hammerhead Sharks. Well done. You've been working really hard. Really proud of you. Fantastic. Swordfish class. Phew, I got through year four without making a mistake this week. And I think Miss Jukes is joined by some of her ratty pals. We haven't seen them since lockdown. So, Miss Jukes, who is your hero this week? My hero of the week for Swordfish is somebody who is actually quite new to the school, quite new to the class. But they've settled in amazingly well. You would not know they were new. They've just become such a productive and such a valued member of our little group. So Isaac, well done. Keep up the amazing work. I'm so very, very proud of you. Well done. Well, Isaac, I agree with Miss Jukes. You are an incredible asset to Atlantic Academy. We're very proud to have you here and it's great to hear you've settled in so well to year four. Well done. Right, next up is Mrs Watson, a rather blustery Mrs Watson, I think, with Dolphin Class. Mrs Watson, who is your hero this week? Good morning, Atlantic. I'd like to nominate Poppy for my hero of the week. She's so kind, so helpful, a fantastic person in our class to have around and she works so hard. Well done, Poppy. Thank you. Poppy, couldn't agree more. You are a wonderful asset and a great addition to Dolphin Class. Well done for working so hard. Keep up the good work. Okay, on to Mr. Eakers, who's on his own this week in his classroom, but that's okay. Mr. Eakers, who is Sea Lion Class's hero this week? Hello, you're five. We're separate this week, I'm afraid. Uh, my hero goes to Riley. Well done, Riley. You have been uh, setting really high expectations with your behaviour. Um, you've been working really hard in class and are being really considerate to the other people around you. So well done. Riley, well done. I know Mr. Eakers has high expectations of you and it's great to hear you're living up to those expectations. You are a superstar. Fantastic. Couldn't be proud of you. Okay, two more classes. We're on to year six. Miss Chant and Orca class. Miss Chant, who is your hero this week? Hi everyone, here we are to tell you about this week's hero of the week. And our person we've chosen this week is somebody who has not only taken part and focused so brilliantly on their learning, they've also extended their understanding by, an ex by explaining it to other members of the class and to other people as well. So, keep him back on the dog. Back on the dog. Quickly, quickly. Good boy, sit. Sit. So, I am so pleased to tell you that our Hero of the Week this week is Isaac. Well done, Isaac. We are both really proud of you. Fantastic. Great to hear. Well done. Well done to all of you. You've been working incredibly hard. And last but not least with our class teachers is Mrs Dolby with Penguin Class. Mrs Dolby, who is your hero this week? Good morning and welcome to Penguin Class Hero of the Week. And this week it goes to someone who's really started to come out of their shell. They're joining in with class discussions, um, being more confident at reading out loud with the rest of the class um, and just generally gaining in confidence in every subject. And this week it goes to Alicia. Alicia is so proud, really well done. Well, Alicia, confidence is something that's very important when it comes to year six and being the top of our primary school. So it's wonderful that you're growing in confidence. Well done for working so hard and making Mrs Dolby so very proud of you. OK, last but not least, it's Mrs Russell, who is inside this week. And I can't really blame her because the weather's pretty poor outside. So Mrs Russell, you had to choose somebody from reception and key stage one to be your PE hero this week. Who was it? Hi everyone, I've come inside today to film my PE heroes because it's a bit breezy outside. Um, this week it's Key Stage 1's turn for Hero of the Week um, and it's a really tough choice. We've had some great PE lessons with uh, Reception Year 1, Year 2. Uh, but my hero goes to somebody in Reception and that is Bronwyn. Well done to you. You are fantastic at PE and have impressed me right from the very start. 
congratulations to you. Next week it's Key Stage 2's turn. And don't forget everybody, as you've seen on the DMB, it's um, back to school week next week. Um, we're going to have some prizes and raffle tickets to give away with prizes at the end of the week for those that bike to school every day. Thanks then, see you later. Bye. Fantastic work, Bronwyn. Bronwyn, well done. You've been brilliant. It's great to hear you're getting stuck into your PE lessons. Okay, next week, as Mrs Russell said, it's cycle to school week. Um, you can cycle or scooter. It'll be great to see loads of you being active outside. Hopefully the weather will be nice to us and it won't be raining. Um, Mrs Russell will be doing some announcement next week and it'll be lovely to give out some super prizes. So if you think you are up for it, let's get on our bikes for that. Right, last up, we've got two special reading badges this week. We've got some bronze badges and I'm really excited to give these out as ever. The first badge goes to somebody in year two who has read 250,000 words and that goes to Iris. Well done, Iris, you're a superstar, reading really well, well done. And the second badge goes to somebody in year five and that is Corey, who's also won his bronze badge. So well done, Corey, another great reader, fantastic. Well, listen, that's everything for this week. You guys have been brilliant. Hope, hope you all and your families have a wonderful weekend. Take care of each other and stay safe. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.